and an Ohio-based startup, Folio Photonics, has just announced a new inexpensive optical technology that promises to dramatically reduce cost per bit for long-term storage. But are they making a mistake in productizing this as a 12 centimeter optical disc? What do you think, Stephen? Yeah, that's an interesting question since uh, this technology could be used in all sorts of different ways. Now, uh, disclosure, I'm in Ohio and I talked to these folks, they're actually right up the road. Um, and it's pretty exciting technology. Uh, the basic idea here is that rather than having some kind of expensive uh, substrate to write uh, optical data onto, what they're doing is using a uh, extruded polymer that uh, you basically shoot with a laser and uh, it kind of fluoresces uh, once you've uh, hit it and then you can read it later. It's a really simple technology. Um, well, it's really complicated technology, but it's, it's simple in, uh, in practice uh, once it's uh, been invented, uh, as are most things. And um, it would theoretically allow a very high density storage on a very inexpensive, uh, flexible, uh, kind of a plastic sheet uh, with multiple layers. It's, it's very cool. Um, right out of the gate, though, uh, it occurred to me that it was strange that they were putting it on discs since uh, this technology, uh, after all, could be used in big sheets. It's produced in big sheets, and that would give you a lot, lot, lot more storage capacity. But the 12 centimeter optical disc, like a DVD or a CD, uh, kind of limits the amount of, of space that they've got to work with. Um, but frankly, my conversation with them showed me the wisdom of this move. Uh, quite frankly, they... Uh, this gives them access to all the stuff that already exists in DVD and Blu-ray uh, the, the world, including uh, lasers, transports, motors, uh, cartridges, <laughs> manufacturing, all that stuff. And it allows them to basically get this thing to market. Because as you know, the biggest challenge for any technology is not inventing it or, or making it work. It's typically getting it to market. So, you know, I'll allow it. Uh, I love the idea. I love to see what they're going to do with it. And I would love to see where they go in the future with this uh, inexpensive uh, optical medium. And heck, uh, maybe it uh, will prove competitive with not just Blu-ray, of course, which it's probably already going to be competitive with about out of the gate, but also maybe with tape and LTO and things like that. We'll see.